hip there. On. It's a early spring afternoon. We don't have long. Uh, I still need to do a little bit of work as well. So I'm just gonna go for a little fish, come home, finish off the day of work. We're using the wholesalejigs.com.au, a jig pack, micro jig pack, which comes with 12 jigs, enough to get you through a couple of sessions and it's a reasonable price. So get over there if you're interested in grabbing some of that gear. Also, it's my website, so you know, I have a vested interest in telling you that it's good. Fishing! So I can see that the rocks or the edges covered up with water, which is going to make it hard to fish here. Okay, not really feeling this spot, so I'm going to move somewhere else. I'm, I'm not 100% sure where I'll go. Up we go. Spot two, nice and chill. Have a little jig around here. There's plenty of water up on the flat over there, but we'll try and hit some boats first. Have just, yeah, just fan out around here and then I'll go and cast up on the flat. And I don't think I've ever really fished here on a high tide like this, just because it's quite inconvenient. Kind of a much better kayak spot, really. Oh, gold. To the flat. We on a fish. No way. We are. Baby flatty for sure. Let's get the net ready. It's not really... Oh, he actually nearly got me. a hook point right here in the, the gill so we'll see what we can do about oh yep that's out okay so we've done a bit of a back oh got it out through the back way that was pretty clever and now we just need him to open up oh perfection goodbye No idea where that landed, but probably up on the flat. And then there's this deep section down here. I've got a cast over there and boom, 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 boom. Like a bit of a nib there, and we're on again. Very next cast, but that's better. That's way better. That's actually really good. That's good, that's good. I want it to kind of be done with itself so I'm just going to turn the drag down like I want it to carry on out there so I'll turn the drag down just a bit and I can see the angle that it's out at all right tighten him up and start pulling him in, pulling him in. 
I am a little bit worried about these oysters in front of me. Oh, he's coming in. More oysters in front. Okay, that's hooked back up. Okay, it's still going. This is a really good flathead. Okay, this nice long rod will help us. Just need to make sure we don't fall or get stuck. Need to keep it away from yeah big trev did not go as hard as i would have expected it to i'm just gonna pop the drag up <laughs> trophy in the estuary ha good fun did not run very fast though. Let's get him measured up. That's on the seven gram from wholesalejigs.com. It comes in the 12 pack. Link in the description, my website as well. Let's get him up for a measure. He looks pretty good, I reckon high 40s. Um, oh man, we've wrecked his, no, his lip is already wrecked. Oh, we pinned him funny, which is probably why he didn't fight very well, because his bottom lip held in a funny position. So that's the, the seven grammar with the double assist hook. That's the mid slug. You can see it's taken a bit of damage because I got two fish on it the other day. And then I've just scored these two fish in two casts. And we've got, oh, come on, what are you? You're like 40? We'll just say 44. Bit of a lip, bit of damage to the lip probably being caught previously. Anyway, this is uh, stop. Just got the uh, the 44 Trev out of an hour after work, and we'll um, we'll put him back. But uh, that's a sick sick fish on the uh, seven gram jig. Just slow jigging across the bottom, maybe a little bit off, like mid water. I'd say, but this is probably one of the guys terrorizing all the other fish, getting a bit of a splash around, but uh, we'll put him back now and we'll keep going, but that's probably it really, because running out of light. There he goes. Well, happy as Larry. No, not Larry outdoors. Just a colloquialism. And that's the seven gram slug. Buy some stuff from me. Shimano Stratic working really well as always, 2500 FL, uh, love it. Eight pound TAS line, Yamaga Blanks, Blue Current 3, eight foot, perfect for the estuary land base. Okay, right on the edge of the sand flat. I think we're over there before. On. Another good one. Probably same thing, really. What? Ah, salmon. Dropped it. Amazing. Do we still have the lure? I don't think we do. No, we still have the lure. Okay. Wow. I'll, um,. Wind in faster. I guess drag down a bit though. All right, so I'm gonna finish it there. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Maybe you learned something. Uh, if you wanna get some of those jigs, you can get over to my website where I sell the 12 pack, which I think is quite good value and I'll let you try a couple of different things with a range from seven grams to 15 grams, all of which are pretty good in the estuary, as I've kind of demonstrated. You can get onto any number of fish, be it brim, whiting, um, you know, 
trebs, kingfish, jewfish, got a jewfish the other day, that was pretty cool. Yeah, re really effective technique and effectively all you're doing is getting a really long cast in and either bouncing it off the bottom with long pauses or tearing it in quickly or a combination of all, all the different kind of methods you can do to try and you know attract whatever is in the area. Uh, it's more of a catch something technique versus a catch something specifically. Best of luck with your future endeavours and I might catch on the next one. Fishing. Continue.